everybody and welcome to Northern Lion Tries Plebi Quest The Crusades. This is, uh, as far as I understand it, it's a strategy tycoon management, kingdom management game. Kind of you could see it as like a Crusader Kings 2 analog, but a little bit more casual set during the Crusades. Um, this came out on Steam a couple of days ago, and I will admit, okay, the name Plebi Quest, I look at a lot of new releases on Steam. Some new releases have names that you're like, okay, right off the bat, I know this is, is marketed towards me. And some of them, I'm like, Plebi Quest, is that like, you know, drug dealing simulator, uh, burn apocalypse, the Bernie Sanders fighting game? But then I looked a little closer, I looked at the reviews, and I was like, this is extremely well reviewed. I did receive a code from the developers, thank you for that. Let's get started. It's a good lesson in not judging a book by its cover, potentially. Okay, we will play as... Arslan II, the Game of Princes, the Sultanate of Rum. It has been more than a half century since the First Crusades raised the Kingdom of Jerusalem. The Sultanate of Rum was helpless and barely held on in the face of that pagan invasion. And so, Mesud I, well, Mesud I, from his kingdom's precarious existence between repeated Crusaders' attacks and neighbors eager to claim a weakened kingdom's territory, calls for his son, Kaliji Arslan II, to come home from Mosul. Alright, I will try. Let's do it. Let's learn something. Maybe a little bit about history and maybe a little bit about gameplay as well. What is this? Everyone is waiting for me? Could it be? All that urgency for me to come back? Was that because... This? This is the moment of my life. Oh, I'm so overwhelmed. I have a dream. That one day this Sultanate of Rum will become the greatest of all the Seljuk brother nations. I have a dream! That one day we will take Nicaea, stronghold of my ancestor Suleiman, back from the clutches of the Byzantine Empire. I have a dream. That one day we will unite the region of Anatolia, swallow up Greece, then I will create the largest harem in the world. Little brother spam in chat, please. I have a dream. Only Sultan may touch the throne. Huh? Then who does the cleaning, father himself? What are you doing there? Succeeding you, father. I see you learned something from going abroad after all. That foolishness! Then why did your heir have to come back at dawn, throwing away all those hard work spent in studies without even saying goodbyes? Hmm, a little wind spoke to me. About a fool who spends the whole week in Mosul loitering in front of the inn and whistling at women. No woman in his sight needed to pay for her own tea. Local hoodlums smoked shisha and sang songs with him throughout the night. And I hear he said to an innocent young lass, Anything to be with you, babe. I will even give up being sultan. I pity the girls who fell for the sweet lies of the fool, who was drooling over the throne as soon as he came back. Atesia, I think I found a little finger. Don't look at me. At least the foolishness wasn't the word I used. So what do you think will happen to that heir of sultan? Hmm, good things, of course. I always get my happy ending. So hopelessly optimistic. Given your behavior, I'm sure there are my grandchildren out there. Don't you think that our bloodline is already secure even without you? Grr! Anyway, your playtime is now over. You will work for the kingdom. Do you need someone for a grand project? Someone with elite training to do something marvelous? Simple police duty. There's a mob of starving pagans coming my way. You mean those fellows with the raggedy bandanas armed with weapons for the ruthless beheading of wheat grains? Even a mosque librarian who never lifted anything heavier than a pen could get the job done. The pen is mightier than the sword, right? You see, I do have a son with about as much combat experience as a mosque librarian. And it's time for him to start earning his own meal. He may be a fool, but the blood of great Solomon runs through his vein. He may turn over a new leaf after all. Well, since you need me so much, I'll do it. Now begins the legend of the prince who returned. Stop fooling around and get that lazy butt to work. Yeah, yeah, I will definitely get on it. Just don't cart me off to Mosul again. Alrighty. Kilij Arslan II received mission policing. Alright. Let's try to figure out what the heck is happening here. We got kingdom income, grain, and horses. War horses, okay. Um, we are a member of the Seljuk Brother Nations. A county lord, which I'm assuming is us, can hire three generals. We are ranked 15 and ignored by most kingdoms. Okay. 
Mwahaha, these poor you-know-whats have no idea they face a main character. I will finish them in 10 seconds. Your Highness has none. None of what? Mercy? Yup, I'm a Mosul-trained murder machine. Troops, sir, you have none under your command. Oh, right, where are my troops? Call them to me. You really don't know much, do you? What did you do in Mosul? With looks like mine, you don't need to know things to get by. You can find your generals on the lower left. Okay. You can command your generals and see their stats. I will select myself. Now let's click this highlighted button to see the barracks. I appreciate the tutorialization. Sometimes these games can be a little overwhelming. Seems like they're doing a good job of making it accessible so far. You can oversee troops and their training from the barracks. This is where you can assign troops to your army and train them. This is your army. You can assign troops here from the kingdom's reserves. Now let's go look at some troops. Minions, answer the call of your master and arise from your grave. Mwahaha. Okay. What is this? They're just peasants and farmers. Every world domination plot begins at step one. You should forge them into the elite core of Hex Army. What? I'm a prince, not some devil. Next step. Please select a troop to transform. All right. We will move them to our army. As you can see, the troop has been added to your army. Let's do that one more time. Send it. Your Highness can only manage up to two troops. What? Who are you to tell Khalij Arslan II what he can and cannot do? I'm not doing such things. Do you see yellow infantryman sign? You can move your mouse there to find more details in the tooltip. This is the general's troop class and level. As generals grow up, they can command up to five troops and use up to three carrier pigeons. Talk about burying the lead. I didn't know we had any car uh, carrier pigeons. All right, give me that second army, please. You can train, tier upgrade, or assign troops in the barracks. Nobody will stop you from going outside now. You can go ahead and press close. All right. Now that we're done with the barracks, can I go to the inn? Now it's time to take a rest. That will cost us 10 grain. We have 23. Your troops will replenish while you rest. Aren't you a little tired? I'm fresh as a daisy. Let me go now. My body needs to inhale some white smoke. Whatever will I do if your highness fail falls to enemy attack because you don't have enough troops? Whatever would I say to the sultan? Okay. Please use rest. I have done. Red lines on my face? Is it a curse? It's not a curse. It's a sign that you are out of actions for this month. Each general only gets one action a month. Sounds like a government employee. So you have to choose wisely. I'm sorry. It was just uh, the joke was there. Okay, I thought it over and I made my choice. To the end. Your officials are on the lower right for governing the kingdom. Right now you only have two of these. Once your generals have made their actions, click end turn. All right. Everybody else is doing stuff. Just it's it, peace time. This is just peace time. Oasis in the desert in the Iconium Plaza. The mosque is just through this plaza. Please hurry up, your highness. That girl who passed yesterday, one who reminded me of Jasmine Blossoms. Do you think she might be there? The mosque is a holy place for pay, play, so you know, you pay respect to God there. Can't I can't read, apparently. And your highness is scheduled to catalog books at the mosque library today. So lady librarians, they wear those charming big glasses, right? When going to God, you must leave those straight thoughts behind and bring your faith only. So the fair-skinned librarian. No, no! We're just gonna help some pale old bookworms who never see the sun so that we can get research points. Get out of here. You know what? We're gonna speed up these animations. I get the... Look, the thing is, I appreciate it. There's, there's a lot of story stuff going on here. It's got character and etc, etc. But I'd like to get to some mechanics. I, I I play a game like this to manage the kingdom and to go to war. Okay. That's our this is the start of our turn. Who are these guys? They look angry. What do they want? Royal heads on a stick, they cheer on armed rabble and will incite rebellion. Their numbers will grow every month if you don't take care of them. What? My head? Oh no they don't. Tax revenue will drop a little bit, but it'll be fine for a while. Getting you in shape to suppress the armed rabble is our priority. Okay, now let's go to the mosque. You can take this route to get there. This is the mosque, where you can pay your respects to God, catalog books, and more. You mean it's boring as heck. That's why there's only a handful of people here. Did you see the librarian? Put your finger over him to find out how to catalog books. 
I would like to. Select the character. Oh, I guess we probably select the books. Hold on. I would like to initiate an action. Now we're stacking. What book are we holding right now? I know we have to make them make three. Are we holding blue book? We're holding green book, but dude, I'm amazing. Even though I didn't know what I was doing, I matched them so well. Um, I think we want to place the blue book here to try to get a line up there. Look at that. We got research points times 22. That's a cool mechanic for, for how to get research points. Instead of just having like universities in your kingdom or something like that, that give you ticks of research every few uh, turns or something like that. To, to have a little mini game for it is neat. I can't ignore them any longer. They are harming innocent citizens. I shall go and conquer them all. Don't be too hasty, your highness. There's no guarantee that you will win this battle yet. But I don't want to follow you around for reasons I don't understand anymore. I'm bored. I understand. We can change how we do things. Here's my plan. Try to achieve these different objectives on your own. So if I follow this plan, I get to win. All right, let's do it. Click on the administration card on the right to conduct research. The administration official manages the domestic affairs of the kingdom. You could compare his role to that of a mother. Okay. Sure. In research, you will use research points that you got from the mosque. Okay. The boot camp sells troops, but since you won't get Sultan's permission to buy new troops, you can't buy anything. And you can't take loans. All right. Research, please. What do you think makes a powerful country? Strength. Military strength. With powerful military, you can conquer the world and strike fear into the hearts of your enemies. To effectively mobilize and deploy those troops, you need research. Technology makes a kingdom last. Engineers are the pillars of a nation. Huh, so you majored in engineering? I, I get it. Anyway, you can spend the research points you got at the mosque on research projects here. Please consult the tooltips on each project for new data. I do... I will say, so first off, I don't believe this was originally made uh, in English, so I have to say the localization is really good, which is, uh, it, it can potentially be a bit of a spicy part of a game uh, when it's so mechanics rich as this. I will say, the tutorial, I understand, has got to be long. It's a little verbose because they keep putting jokes and flavor text in. I don't know how many more jokes about when will the tutorial be over I can take before I'm going to lose my freaking mind. Um... So here's the thing. How many research? I have 42 research points. Let's see. Switch rows 1 and 2. A full frontline presence is vital for victory. Switch out your troops at the front with reserves from row 2 to keep your front, front lines at full fighting strength. I have mastered switch rows 1 and 2. Change your positions, dazzled and dizzy with your footwork. First mission succeeded. Okay. Now. That's done. Fill... Kali Jarzlan II's army with troops tier 2 or better. What if I... Oh, my action's done already. So I'm close out of this. I think, I think I'm out of here. Thank you for the, the resources. Much appreciated. Uh, and thank you for the reward. And I guess we'll just end turn. You got infantry plus one. You got horse and wheat. All right. I like that we get to go first at least. Your Highness, I need to speak with you. Ruffians have been making trouble at the inn lately. Ah, uh, does poor Atesia have the hots for the innkeeper? I just want to click on enemies and have them battle. Please. Okay. Let us grind them into XP and tear up your troops. Let's make it a quest. How about that? Ah, uh, you're such a pain in the butt. Just you wait until I'm sultan. A practical education begins. Defeat the ruffians at the inn. Okay. I would like to. Inn? Discharged infantry. Hey, you! I told you I want my tobacco smooth yet strong with a smoky, dreamy quality and a clean, refreshing aftertaste. Are you ignoring me or what? If you're asking for the plant outlawed by the Sultan, we don't sell. Now, now, let's just change those dull leaves with these exciting ones. We have a policy against unauthorized products from outside of the shop. What's that now? Unauthorized? What do you want? FDA approval? Maybe you should try some. Authorize it yourself. Come on, suck it in. What, this your first time? Ha, you're such a noob. I'll get in trouble if mom knows you guys are smoking leaves brought from outside. My mother doesn't like me smoking either. These things are fun because your mom won't know a thing about it. Come on, man, take a drag. Then I'll forgive you for disrespecting me. That's them. Those are the troublemakers. Anyway, so we're just gonna keep clicking on the button until 
I get to engage in some battle. I see there was a joke there. His mom is there, so he wasn't just saying um, that his mom would find out. Instead, rather, she was actually there to deliver the punchline. Okay. Hard to lose against them. Let's do it. Don't stop me. We're going to have a funeral today. On mission. Research, we only have 12. Boot camp, we can't do anything with. So I think we're on end turn because we're on mission. Yeah, I don't think we can do anything else. All right, end turn. Let's see what happens here. Fight ruffians. I will start. It's 12,800 against 8,000. Have you ever been in battle? Of course, mwahaha. The time has come to unleash my cursed right hand. Whoa, whoa, be patient, righty. The battle hasn't even begun yet. I see, so you know nothing about tactics. Basically, you use these buttons to command your troops. Battle out in the open is a straightforward struggle between two sides. In this kind of fight, the power relationship between different troop types can predict who will win. Oh, whatever. Types don't work on me. All troops forward. Or you could run headfirst at the laws of nature. Also, there aren't anything like voice commands here. Click here to go forward. You completed the switch rows research. You can switch the position of troops with this button. Okay, let's uh, move forward, please. Behold, a bluebird, sign of luck. This is a divine omen of my victory. The bird is a trained messenger carrying your commands. These birds will relay any message as long as it's 140 characters or shorter. <laughs> I don't need that much. Anyway, I see it takes a while for the bird to get there, so I should make predictions ahead of time when I send the message. I understand. Well, for now, why don't you just charge in? It seems like you're doing good work. Infantry class in the front, archer class in the back. That's a simple formation, but still a hard one to beat. There's nothing I can't beat. There must be a way to do it. You can beat it by charging cavalry class into the archer class at the rear, or respond with your own ranged attacks, or rush the infantry class to melt them away. Okay. I mean, we don't, we don't have a cavalry class right now, so I think we're just gonna keep, keep pressing the button. I don't know why we would want to move backwards. To speed up combat, hold control. I get it, it was a god mode reference. Your front line is taking a beating, you should give them a breather. The red part of the bar under each troop is the injury gauge. They, this will gradually recover while the troop is not under attack. Okay, so we will swap our front line and our back line. It's kind of cool that you have to give uh, orders on a delay. Usually, like, even when you play something like, uh, like Hearts of Iron, Europa Universalis, it just kind of like, you know, it comes out all instantaneously. You can, you can have your troops move like six provinces with the click of a button. I can't believe, by the way, that I, I think that I'm not getting decimated, but I am slightly embarrassed by my performance. Swap those lines again. I don't know what else I can really do about the situation because we, you know that there's just two archers at the back that I can't seem to bust through, but we'll get there one day. We can speed up the battle, and then you know, as you guys are fighting, we will now swap front line, back line again. The, that infantry line is almost dead. Okay, they've been chased down. I will win, you will lose. I'm the greatest player of all time. Look at that. So we took a, a lot of... I mean, I guess we didn't lose troops. We lost HP, and then over time, that HP will come back. Okay. So it's almost like it's Civilization-style units. I was thinking of it as, like, EU4-style units where we actually lost manpower. I guess it's functionally kind of a similar system, but um, we just have to wait for that HP to come back. We didn't actually lose the unit itself. Our casualties are significant. Genius might be an overstatement. But still, I won, right? Time to check out the loot. Oh, baby. Fight Ruffian Infantry Mission Succeeded. He's done it. Having trouble finding your kingdom on the map? Not really, because I haven't moved away from it at all. Um, okay, so we want to make our army slightly better. So we're going to go to the barracks, and you guys are going to get a tier upgrade. We're going to make you a spearman. Costs us 12 salt. Is that, what is that? 12 sugar. That makes more sense. 
We only have 14 sugar, so we can only upgrade one troop right now. Okay. And they don't... He did they heal? They did not heal. Okay. We need... Uh, we don't have any metals to give them either. So we just don't have enough sugar for you. That's okay. Get me out of here. Um... Get you out of here. The morale of your troops is low. So I think when morale is low, we should rest, if that's correct. So let's just go to the... I mean, it, it does say go to the mosque because it has an exclamation mark, so let's do that. It is said that everything you do in the mosque has to do with God. Pray to God and improve your faith. Inshallah, is all as God wills, the floating hand of God points out the way to go. That's a funny thought, but let's keep that just between us. Okay. I will... I guess I will, I will speak to the, the book lord again. Okay, so green book comes first. He's not done it. It turns out I'm bad. Just trying to think, is there any way I could like push these? We're gonna have a green book next. So I think if we go red book here... No, that's not gonna work, dude. Assuming these cycle. I'm, I'm, I'm trying, but we don't even have... Okay, hold on. I think it has to be like this. Yeah, yeah, put it there. Like, the only way that this can work is like this, but we, we we set up a diagonal at least, but that's... Okay, we got one more white book. We can at least put the, the white book on top of the red book. May I? And then that'll set up a red, and I was hoping maybe a diagonal as well. We got 27 research points. That allows us maybe to get, um, what's host travelers? You can host wandering generals. They'll give us more allies. Expand mosque altar. Produce and sell shisha from the mosque in exchange for gold. Sure, why not? Although, to get move forward back one tile, who knows? That There could be something useful there. Oh, no, 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 no. this is what we want, a system of metals. Let's, let's get to 40 research first. We're literally one shy right now. So, okay, end turn. You got one diamond. You got 10 sugar. I'm so good. <laughs> I don't even know what I did, but I'm amazing. All right, so now we should complete. You can't see this quest, by the way, but this uh, quest that we have right here to fill our troops, uh, fill our army with troops tier two or better should be done here. You get this kingdom map. Why don't you take a look at the surrounding kingdoms and learn a little bit about them? No, I want to go to the barracks and level up my troops to spearmen. You finally teared up your troops. How do you like it? I thought they would be more special. But aren't real soldiers so much better than imaginary killing machines? Wake up, slumbering hero. You're right. Let's go find a monster to take down. Now that you are ready, I'll let you go on policing. Rules of engagement begins. Full metal jacket succeeded. Okay, rules of engagement. Suppress very long freemen at the area near Iconium and or with Khalij Arslan the second. So, here's here's how we're going to do this, all right? First, I need my troops to be more well rested in my opinion. So, I am going to not attack them here. Instead, I would like to sleep. Morale has reached its peak. We paid 121 gold. That's pretty steep. And we will end our turn. We got some research points. This is going to be a big turn for us. I can already tell. Diplomatic talks. The king of Danasumen's dynasty in the flesh. I've got scalding hot tea and the driest of breads ready just for you. Thanks, but I'll have to decline. How about some pork kebab straight from my left hand? Haha, -ha. then should I receive it with my left as well? I hear you've managed to steal the prince away from the great Seljuk Empire. We're not planning to make him sultan without the agreement of the Seljuk brother nations, are you? Is there a problem with the father wanting to see his son? Regrettably so, in times like these. Great Seljuk Empire is angry. They will not let this slide. There are talks about sanctions done by Seljuk brother nations. Well, with Sultanate of Rum in my hand, I may not have a full house, but I can manage at least a two pair. Our kingdom will not bow to these petty threats. All right, so here's the thing. I do appreciate the lore. I like it. It's cute. I'm just a little mechanic starved right now. Relations between Sultanate of Rum and Danasumen's dynasty have deteriorated. 
I apologize. And the rabble is getting aggressive here. You can click here or press... You, you can't see this, but it's in the toolbar up at the top. Check this out, okay? What about one of those? How do you feel about that? To gain all the knowledge of this universe. That won't be necessary. I already have it all. So we're going to go here. Barracks. You're healed. I love to see it. Whoa, 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 Jacob doesn't touch it. We're going to speak to the administration. Research. A system of medals. We can now give out medals in the barracks. We'll also research plan of retreat to go full tactics build. Now. Barracks. Do we have some medals that I could give you? Okay. What about these right here? Medals. Casas gold. Bow defense. Reduces damage from enemy range. Reduces enemy damage from enemy range. Reduces damage from enemy range. Let's do that. I mean, that's a that's a big medal for us. Thank you. Thank you. That's a big medal for us because we're fighting so many... Uh, well, at least in our, our only combat so far, we fought bows. So that seems sensible to me. Okay, I would like to fight the rabble now. If possible. I would like to... You know what? Perhaps we'll go to the inn. Teach ruffian a lesson. Very long freeman. Suppress very long freeman. Okay. Non-religion believer, native of Anatolia, occupying the outskirts. How dare you. Pay to leave? Are you insane? Okay, I mean, it is only 95 gold. They decide to leave the kingdom. You give a payment of 95. A good fight, but I emerge the winner. Sometimes a fight is a bonding experience. He was stronger than I expected, just not a match for the likes of me. Rules of engagement succeeded. Well, I think that's going to do it for... Let's look at... Uh, sorry, Northern Lion Tries, a plebe quest. What I will say about the game is it's more ambitious than I expected, without a doubt. I'm actually very impressed with the breadth of mechanics and the depth of those mechanics. I'm a little disappointed we didn't really in half an hour or so make it out of the tutorial but um this seems like the sort of thing if you've always wanted a little bit more storytelling not emergent gameplay but like a, an actual written narrative uh, and and maybe a little bit more lightheartedness in your grand strategy games this might be one that uh, tickles your fancy a little bit more hopefully once you get outside of the tutorial they get you know you, you get to be the author of your own uh, fate a little bit more than this but for now i had a good time i just wish i got in a little bit more combat for now thanks for watching hope you guys enjoyed it if you did click the like button helps out a great deal of course subscribe if you want to see more in the future for now thanks for watching and go check out uh plebe quest the crusades on steam it's linked in the video description below you can pick it up it just came out this week it's on 20 percent discount you can also add it to your wish list to see what happens with it and sales in the future and stuff like that i'm sure the devs and the publisher would love it if you like what you see track it there so you can keep abreast of uh, new information for now thanks for watching i'll see you next time see ya